And what are the units on K going to do? The rate expressions, yeah. Uh, rate constants have units. Is it that? Now these are the units for the rate. Oh, so then it's. Let me show you how to do that a little bit. What are the units for the rate? Yeah, I think you saw that this meant moles per liter per minute. What are the units for this bracket here? It's not the concentration or it is? Bracket always means concentration. That's what brackets mean. They mean the molarity. So that's moles per liter. But those are squared because this is being squared. And then what are the units for this bracket going to be? Moles per liter. But those are to the first power because of this exponent over here. So this is a kind of dimensional analysis or unit analysis like we might have seen in physics, or maybe a little bit in chemistry as well. Now we need to solve for k. So it's going to be... Work that out on paper. So I'll have moles to the third, or liters to the third. So we're trying, that sounds good. We're trying to get k by itself. Yeah. Well, to do that, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal here. We're going to get these units away from the k. Well, the way to get rid of a fraction that's multiplying something is by the, to multiply by the reciprocal. But then algebra says we have to multiply this side by that reciprocal as well. So the cubic liters will cancel. And now k is by itself. Uh, now over here, we're going to get liters squared over moles squared over minutes. Is this what you got? Yeah. So liters cubed divided by liters is liters squared. Moles cubed divided by moles is moles squared. And we have minutes. So actually, k is one hundred eighty liters squared per mole squared per minute. And now we've really figured out the rate expression, because we figured out the exponents and the, and the rate constant. All of those are things that you might have to figure out. By the way, don't confuse the rate constant with an equilibrium constant. That would be a capital K. So this is the rate constant. Usually we don't think of equilibrium constants as having units. We usually don't think of equilibrium constants as having units. But the rate constant definitely does have units. Something else we saw here is the units for the rate constant are different for different reactions. Because the units here depended on what the exponents were going to be, right? Yeah. The units depended on what the exponents were going to be. See, we can't figure out the units here until we know the exponents. So it's actually a, a popular type of question to ask you to figure out what are the units for the rate constant. Uh, that's a very fair game type of question. And that involves knowing what the exponents were here. So different rate expressions will have different units for the rate constant. That seems kind of weird, because usually a constant always has the same units. Yeah. Um, the units for concentration are always moles per liter. And the units for rate are always moles per liter per time. This is first order respect with, with respect to the chlorine, second order with respect to the NO, but overall it's a third order by adding the exponents. Okay. That's another question they could ask. Yeah. Thanks. Sure. All right, and as usual, just doing one example isn't enough to really prepare to do it on the tests. You have to find some other examples that are similar.
These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There's a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos.htm or you can just use the link in the info box. Thank you.